Short row shaping is a technique which enables us to work a part of our row without working the whole row. This means we can create a piece of knitting where one side of our work is longer than another as shown here. You will work the number of stitches stated in the pattern before your wrapped stitch. You will then slip the next stitch purlwise, bring your yarn forward between the stitches, slip the slip stitch back onto the left hand needle and take the yarn to the back of the work. You will now turn and work the next row as given in the pattern. This means we have worked two rows across these stitches whilst the remaining stitches have been left unworked. You will see here that the wrapped stitch has a bar in front of it. Now I will show you how to make this disappear as you knit back across the row. Knit to the wrapped stitch. When you reach the wrapped stitch, you will place your needle into the stitch but taking it first underneath this bar. This will give you two loops on your needle. However, you will simply work the two together as one stitch. The wrapped stitch has now become invisible. I will carry on wrapping stitches for you to watch further. This sample is worked in the Rowan hand knit cotton. It makes your stitches very clear and I think it helps you to see how the wrapped stitch has become invisible as I work across it.